All right, how you doing out there today? Eric here from Around Two Videos. And you ever wonder how somebody like Fred became so popular, or somebody like me that has millions upon millions of subscribers? Well, they all did it the same way Fred did it, and just like me, we use watermarks or logos, whatever you want to call them. But today, I'm going to show you how to master that effect in Movie Edit Pro, where you can make your own watermark logo, icon, whatever you want to call it. We're going to show you how to do that right here, right now. And then you'll be as famous as me. All right, we've got Movie Edit Pro open in the timeline mode, and I've got a uh, raw video on track one. Now, if you go, if you look at this right here, my intro is all about watermarks and icons right there. And you're going to learn how to do that today. So, we're going to go to this part of the video where we just got me in the background right there we want to put a watermark or logo on this video so what we're going to do we're going to navigate to the, the folder that has the pictures that I'm going to use today you can use any picture that you want uh, it's up to you you can get creative with it later on down the road I'm just going to give you the basic idea today and you run with it so let's uh, take this one for example and drag it down to track 3 and as you see, it's my Around To It logo, and it's in black and white. And what we want to do, we want to key out the white portion of that picture. So, with the picture highlighted on track 3, we're going to go up to the Effects tab. We're going to click the Effects tab. Under the Effects tab, we're going to select Video Effects. And then we're going to select the Chroma Key option. Now you see you have a few different uh, choices here. I'm just going to click on the white Chroma Key option. And as you see right there, it keyed out all the white. Now you may have to tweak your chroma keying out just a little bit more with the threshold and fading ranges. You see it doesn't do a whole lot for this one because it's just a standard black and white picture. There you go. See what happens there when I slide, use the slider bar on the fading range? You may have to adjust your picture to get the quality you want. Movie Edit Pro does a pretty good job uh, automatically when you put the picture on the timeline and select the chroma key option but the threshold and fading ranges I always like to check them to make sure I've got the best quality chroma key that I can get now as you can see let's let's just look at the video there you go I've got a watermark on my video but it's huge so let's make sure we left click one time on the picture again on track 3 this time we're gonna go up to the effects tab again and we're going to select the movement effects tab we're going to select size and position and you just see a little dotted box come up around it grab any one of these handles and just left click and hold and drag and then let go you see I'm shrinking the box I just made it a tiny logo and then I can take it and I can move it all over the screen wherever I want it generally people put your watermarks or your logos in the corners so they don't take up a lot of space but they're still visible throughout the whole video and you can see it works pretty good now let's go back and let's look at a picture um, let's say for example this one let's put it on the timeline there you go there's a picture that you, I want to use as a watermark so after I've got the picture on track 3, I'm going to go back up to the effects tabs and click on it. Go back to size and position under the movement effects tab. Left click and hold on that corner handle and make it smaller. Let go. There you have it. Another watermark. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But let's take this to the next level. Since you've already learned how to master putting the watermark on your video or logo, let's take this to the next level now as you see the picture of Sean it's got a lot of background stuff going on here and I really only wanted Sean to show up the, the person in the image so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick real easy we're gonna go down to uh, I'm gonna use paint Microsoft paint I've loaded the image in paint and you can see it right there and what you need to do, we're going we're gonna to delete 
everything out around John and then we're going to fill that in with a different color. Now let me show you how that works. Let's use the lasso effect right here. And this is going to be a down and dirty one. I'm just going to show you real quick. Left click and hold. Drag that mouse all around the image. Of course you would be wanting to get as close as possible. For right now we're, we're just roughing it in to show you in the video. Alright. Make a complete circle with the lasso click the edit button and click cut boom now you see I've taken out a lot of that background uh, image right there and the the whole uh, point behind this is you want to get to a point where you've got nothing left and then you're gonna come up what your image is gonna look like once you do it like this you're gonna wind up with something like this see where I filled it all in with blue now the reason I use blue is because my subject has a green jacket on so I can't chroma key out with green because he would be invisible so I'm filling in all around him with blue and you see I roughed it out real quick filled it in with blue now what you have to do you have to go in use the lasso effect again and you have to get really close now this is tedious work, it takes a lot of time and effort, but in the end it will pay off in the long run. And see what I'm doing with the lasso right there, the lasso effect in Microsoft Paint? I'm getting rid of all that extra background. And what you end up with is something that looks like this. That's your finished product. That's what you want for your, uh, your logos or your watermarks for your videos. So then we go back to Movie Edit Pro. We're going to import that picture that I just did onto the timeline. And there it is. It's in blue. With the picture on track 3, we're going to click Effects. We're going to click Video Effects. Then we're going to click the Chroma Key Options. And we're going to key out the blue color, clicking on blue. Wow, look at that. Doesn't that look sharp? Now with the uh, picture still highlighted on track 3, we're going to go to Movement Effects under the Effects tab. We're going to click Size and Position again. Grab that handle, shrink them on down, and there we go. There's our finished product right there. And it looks pretty awesome. Just like I thought it would. Well, that's how to make a watermark or logo icon for your videos using Movie Edit Pro. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please always remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to support my channel here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching the video and we'll see you later, okay?